Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In today's video, we're going to review the Carmina Punched Cap Toe Oxford in Light Brown Snuff Suede. As part of our dress shoe review series, today we take a look at Spanish shoemaker Carmina's number 8201 Punched Cap Toe Oxfords in the Rain Last and Snuff Suede. Recognizing us as one of the leading authorities on luxury men's dress shoes worldwide, Carmina has graciously agreed to give us access to their entire collection of shoes to review for you on this YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them in the comment section below. I try to get back to as many questions personally as I can. And please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by clicking the bell so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. A cap toe Oxford is the most versatile and elegant shoe a man can own. Its simple design, lack of broguing, closed toe Oxford lacing combine to create a silhouette of unparalleled beauty. This shoe is not subject to the whims of fashion and will be in style forever. Carmina's number 8201 Snuff Suede Punched Cap Toe Oxford respects the sacred design elements well-dressed men have come to expect in their Cap Toe Oxfords. Well-balanced, traditional proportions, a clean, elegant pattern, but with the addition of punching or broguing across the top of the cap to make the shoe slightly more casual. This is a perfect design element when making a Cap Toe Oxford in less formal materials like this beautiful light brown Snuff Suede. The shoe also features Carmina's three-quarter Tomy rubber outsole, which makes it a great all-weather or active shoe. The Carmina Snuff Suede Cap Toe Oxford retails for $450 US dollars with free shipping anywhere in the United States. For those who live internationally, the shoe can be purchased from Carmina's EU website for 395 euros. Shoe trees can be purchased for an additional $70, and all returns from the United States are covered by the company's $35 flat rate return shipping policy. Based on the Spanish island of Mallorca, Carmina is best known for their cult-like following among shoe aficionados for their ability to combine extraordinary softness and comfort with sturdy Goodyear welting and elegant last designs. The company also offers an extensive range of stock models and one of the easiest to use online made-to-order web interfaces for anyone looking to design a totally one-off shoe. It is this wide range of styles and the ability to turn out a high number of individual made-to-order shoes that is won over shoe aficionados. This Carmina Cap Toe Oxford and Snuff Suede is a perfect casual dress shoe whose simple design will ensure that you'll never grow tired of wearing it. The light brown Snuff Suede makes this shoe great for odd jackets and trousers, lighter colored suits such as linen, or even jeans on the weekend. The rain last on which this shoe is built is one of Carmina's most popular. A total of 12 models are constructed on this last, more than any of the company's other 15 lasts. The rain last features a soft square toe that gives the shoe a modern, slightly updated aesthetic. It is this beautiful shape, especially for those who do not want a classically round toe, such as with Carmina's Forest and Inca lasts, and it is probably one of my favorites. The design of this shoe is quite classic, and I appreciate Carmina's use of single and double needle stitching to give this model additional visual dimension. The front cap features single needle stitching on the forward side and double needle stitching and pinking or small triangular cuts into the pattern on the top side. The effect is to give the cap a nice forward balance without looking heavy. The instep of the shoe features five eyelets, which allows the vamp and toe cap to be extended, further elongating the silhouette. Additional single needle stitching runs up the facing of the shoe and along the laces in a soft arc that is elegant and easy on the eye, while the vamp pattern sweeps back to the base of the heel. All of the stitching on the upper is executed with a high stitch density that elevates the finesse and the finish of the silhouette. It is clearly carefully and skillfully done by hand. The shoe features a nice square waist with good definition where the upper is pulled over the last. This is one of the elements that really separates a beautiful, well-made shoe from less expensive models. The additional work required to pull the upper over the last helps add shape and elegance to the upper and prevents the shoe from appearing square. You can especially see this last definition on the interior edge as the shoe runs along the side and under the arch, 
It's cupping the arch with nice definition and helping create a more exaggerated, narrow waist. The quality and construction continues around the shoe to the heel. The upper sits nice and tight on top of the heel base without any unsightly gaps between the heel and the upper. The Goodyear at Welting ends right at the heel base and doesn't continue around the back of the heel like with other shoes, which helps create a cleaner looking heel of the shoe because you don't see any of the welt stitching around the heel base right underneath the upper. This is an important element of craftsmanship and quality that translates to a more elegant sculpted look. The heel also features a nice shape and definition with a slight pinch at the top. The heel edges are beautifully trimmed, waxed, and polished with a light brown natural finish, which allow the leather stacks of the heel to be seen. On lighter colored shoes, I really enjoy light brown or naturally finished edges and heels because it allows the layers of the leather heel stacks to be fully appreciated. Other important elements of design include decreasing width laces with a beautiful crescent arch, a three-piece pattern with toe cap, vamp, and rear quarters, and waxed and polished edges and heels with a nicely finished outsole. This punch cap toe Oxford from Carmina is made from a beautifully light brown suede. The suede is quite neutral in color, almost sandy, which makes it easy to wear. The nap pattern of the suede is very fine and gives the shoe a nice, high quality, refined look. Suede is one of the most underappreciated materials for shoes and is exceptional for casual or active wear. What I love about suede is its durability. Suede is very difficult to damage when compared to calfskin. Suede cannot be easily scuffed or scratched and doesn't need to be regularly polished to look good. For these reasons, I really prefer to travel in suede shoes. Suede is also incredibly easy to keep looking good. Unlike calfskin, suede care is relatively easy. Other than daily brushing, there isn't much one needs to do to keep their suede shoes looking great. Suede shoes are very easily cared for with simple shampooing and suede conditioning and recoloring sprays. You can also waterproof them for added versatility and durability with something like our suede waterproofing spray. Take a look at our extensive video library on how to clean and care for suede shoes. Enhancing the durability and versatility of this shoe is Carmina's Tormir 3 quarters rubber sole and rubber heel top lift. Quite light in appearance, especially when compared to many day-night outsoles, the Tamir rubber outsole and heels allow this shoe to maintain a dress shoe look. With proper waterproofing, these shoes could easily be worn in the rain. A lot of customers I speak to are afraid of buying suede shoes because they don't know how to take care of them and feel that whenever they become dirty, you just have to throw them away. This couldn't be any farther from the truth. This particular color is absolutely beautiful. I have a darker brown pair of suede shoes that's one of my favorites to wear because it's just so nice whenever you're trying to dress down or soften up an outfit. With this snuff color and its kind of light brown sandy texture, it would be great with a pair of khakis or a linen suit uh, and would look equally good with a pair of jeans. The color is incredibly versatile and if you're not someone that owns a pair of suede cap toe oxfords, especially with some punching across the cap. I would absolutely encourage you to consider adding a pair like this to your wardrobe. Either in a light brown suede like this, or even a darker brown suede, these are absolutely beautiful shoes that you'll find yourself turning back to time and time again to wear. Carmina is so well known among shoe enthusiasts because of how well their shoes are constructed. All of the elements of quality and craftsmanship that one would expect in a high quality pair of factory made, Goodyear welted dress shoes can be found here. Beyond this price point, you really begin to hit the point of diminishing marginal return. But the value here is quite exceptional, especially whenever you consider that this shoe can be acquired for $450. First, the shoe is completely Goodyear welted, which is the de rigueur of high quality factory made shoes. Goodyear welting is the process whereby a linen strip is glued to the insole, to which the welt is then sewn to. So the welt is what is holding together the upper, the welt, and then attaching that all to the insole. Then the outsole is stitched to the welt. The Goodyear welting simply allows for a pair of shoes to be easily resold without disrupting the footbed, the integrity, the fit, or the shape of the shoe. The outsoles can easily be pulled off and a brand new one sewn back on by a skilled cobbler, like with our Kirby Allison Certified Shoe Restoration Program. 
Carmina uses a three quarters, not 360 degree welt, which ends right before the heel. This is the preferred method on higher quality shoes because it allows the heel to sit more neatly on top of the heel block. The outsole also features a high stitch density, which further adds to the finesse of the shoe. These Carmina suede Oxfords are available stock from a UK size 5 to a UK size 14 and in a standard E width. UK sizes are a half size smaller than the equivalent US shoe size. So if you're a 9.5 in an American shoe, such as an Allen Edmonds, you'd want to purchase a UK 9 from Carmina. The only challenge to Carmina is that they don't have an extensive network of brick and mortar stores here in the United States to try on shoes. However, Carmina does have a boutique in New York City, as well as several boutiques throughout Europe, and a flat rate $35 return shipping policy. Carmina is able to deliver a shoe at a higher quality than the comparable shoe from other brands. Because Carmina is both the factory and the brand, and because the majority of their distribution is direct, they're just able to pack a higher amount of quality into their shoes than what is commonly found at these price points. Carmina is passionate for shoemaking, and everything about how these shoes are constructed and finished is superb. At $450, these Carminas are certainly an investment, but they are an incredible value in a shoe that anyone would be proud to wear and could wear confidently knowing that they could last easily two to three decades. I hope you enjoyed our in-depth review of these Carmina suede Oxfords. Click the link in the video description to view our full playlist of videos from our shoe review series. And if you have any suggestions of shoes you'd like to see us review, please post them in the comments section below. Please do click the like button below and don't forget to visit our website, hangerproject.com, where we have collected and curated the finest assortment of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed care for their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.